Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. SpaceX identifies moon passenger. Government says 747R car needs to be moved. And U.S. National Aerobatic Championships start next weekend. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's September 19th and this is Airborne Unlimited. A Japanese entrepreneur and billionaire is the first passenger named for SpaceX's trip around the moon, which the company plans for 2023. Yusaku Maizawa has been named as the first private passenger to fly around the moon. No human has been that close to the moon since 1972. Maizawa, whose net worth has been estimated at $2.9 billion, appeared on stage with SpaceX founder Elon Musk for an event held at the company's headquarters. Finally, I can tell you that I chose to go to the moon, he said, and he won't be alone. Maizawa is known for his extensive art collection and plans to take six to eight artists on his trip. Neither Maizawa or Musk will reveal how much he is paying. SpaceX also released new details about his big Falcon rocket. The new design is somewhat smaller than the original concept. The crew component will measure about 180 feet in length and includes three large fins flanking the engines in the rear of the Big Falcon spaceship. Construction of the BFS is already underway, and the Raptor engines that will power the spacecraft have passed initial testing. Musk said a launch site has not yet been determined. After the break, FAA reauthorization bill stalled in the Senate. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Joan Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The U.S. Senate version of a long-term FAA reauthorization bill has been sitting idle since being approved by the Senate Commerce, Science and Transportation Committee in June. And if the full Senate does not take action by September 30th, a sixth short-term extension will have to be approved by the U.S. Congress to keep the FAA operating. The first Boeing 777X wide-body airplane has been rolled out of the factory in Everett, Washington. But this airplane is not destined for delivery to an airline or even a flight test fleet. Instead, the first of the new variant of the airplane will undergo 12 months of static testing to evaluate the load-bearing components of its airframe and wing. A pilot from Queens, New York, who had his airman privileges revoked following a fatal accident in 2016, has been arrested for offering flight instruction to students last year. Nelson Gomez has been charged with giving flight instruction without proper certification. Gomez, 39, from Howard Beach, New York, was the instructor during a flight in February 2016 that went down, resulting in the fatal injury of 23-year-old Gerson Negrin. The Piper Archer had two other students on board. Western Aircraft has completed its first installation of the Scandia soundproofing system on a Pilatus PC-12 aircraft. Scandia's acoustic soundproofing kit for the PC-12 received FAA STC approval in June of this year. 
is goal to reduce cabin noise, increase passenger comfort, and improve thermal insulation properties of the aircraft. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The Bureau of Land Management wants the owners of an art car for Burning Man that is made from the front half of a Boeing 747 fuselage removed from government land. It has been parked on the Black Rock Desert since the event ended two weeks ago. The display had been moved about 12 miles from the Burning Man site in the Nevada desert onto land managed by the Bureau. BLM Acting Communications Chief Rudy Evanson said that the owners of the vehicle need to apply for a new permit to move the airplane, since the event is over. Normally, as an art project, the 747 would have been covered by the Burning Man Organization's recreation permit, but that has expired. Evanson said that given the location of the item on public land, its legal status is in trespass with unauthorized use. Bottom line is, we're evaluating options for getting rid of it. The plane is owned by Big Imagination Camp. CEO Ken Feldman said that they have a plan to move the vehicle to a private location near the desert. But Everson said that the main problem is that there is no road from where the plane is to its planned permanent home. After these messages, U.S. National Aerobatic Championships start next weekend. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. Some of the nation's best aerobatic aircraft pilots will return to Oshkosh on September 22nd to 28th to compete for the U.S. National Aerobatic Championships, hosted by the International Aerobatic Club. The event moved to Oshkosh last year, after spending most of the past 45 years in Sherman and Denison, Texas. Approximately 100 pilots will compete in five separate categories during the week, ranging from primary to unlimited and both powered and glider aircraft. In addition, the top finishers in the Unlimited category will earn spots on the U.S. team that will compete next year at the World Championships in France. Oshkosh is a focal point and internationally recognized as a home of sport aviation, and we are looking forward to another successful year, said IAC President Robert Armstrong. Competition aerobatics is one of the most demanding of all air sports and requires extensive practice planning and precision. Competition will begin on Saturday, September 22nd in the five categories Primary, Sportsman, Intermediate, Advanced, and Unlimited, and both Power and Glider Aerobatics. The categories are determined by the complexity of maneuvers and capabilities of the aircraft. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday, and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.